wild take this morning. You're right, about, take. you're right about that. We are pretty much a Micah Parsons is the best defensive player in the league show. No, the whole world, the whole football media is is doing that, and he but might be. But, but this guy has as strong of an argument as Micah Parsons uh, does, and he's really? been doing it longer. Like it is, Coach Miles Garrett has played 75 games. In those 75 games, he has 66 sacks and 67 TFLs. So he averages almost two tackles behind the line of scrimmage, either of a quarterback or a running back, per game in his career. You just see it. He's the 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 only player. Right right now, Micah Parsons has more total tackles. He has more sacks. They have the same number of tackles for loss. They have the same number of pass defense. They have the same number of forced fumbles, except Micah Parsons has returned one for a touchdown. I know that he's... Had what, what was the stat? Seven sacks in the last six, six years. The yeah. only, I mean, Aaron Donald's had eight sacks and more every year that he's played. Now he's got a little bit of a down year right now with four, but he's also had a twenty sacks. Oh well, Aaron. So, I mean, so Aaron. Do- listen, I think Aaron Donald is in a position for second straight show. We're going to mention him. J.J. Watt was in like eight years yeah. ago, where it's like, hey, he's the best defensive player in football. Doesn't mean he's having the best season. I think Aaron Donald's the best defensive player in football, but he's not necessarily having the best season. But if we're talking about the guys outside of the Aaron Donald category, I just feel like Micah Parsons has jumped the line ahead of Miles Garrett because Miles Garrett's been on bad teams and on the Cowboys. And on what? What's the problem? What do you? What's this? Look One like? reason Parsons, the Cowboys are so good is because of Micah Parsons. Of course, Winning and the game. and the yeah. only and the and you mentioned it yesterday, Nick. You said Micah Parsons could play every position on the field. Well, that makes him except for quarterback. Yeah. Well, I think that's what. And look, nothing against Miles Garrett. He's awesome, but that's what gives Parsons the edge is his versatility. The fact that I here too. Do we have these it. dusty? I, I, I wanted to get some highlights, the, but two plays <laughs> that Parsons made recently. Oh, Here's one. Miles Garrett's not making that play, Nick. That was the game, the game. save. Yes, that was probably the game when he Miles played right the there. You got to admit, Garrett's ball. not making that play. And he's not okay. making this play against See, Chicago is, okay. either when Justin Fields hurdles him. And well, he, he, was, he has the fumble return. So I'm not counting that. The, 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 that's, why, a why? So that's a Justin that's, Fields blooper. Just real quick. To that's why. That, so, again, I, I, I think Micah Parsons right now is the leading candidate for defensive player of the year. But that commentary right there is why I brought this up. This idea that, we, that Micah Parsons has just ascended every other defensive player in the league, I reject. I, I, I disagree with that. I think that Miles Garrett does not have a Demarcus Lawrence alongside him on the off, on the defensive line. He does not have a Dan Quinn, by the way, calling that defense. And I think Miles Garrett has proven year in, year out, he is one of the two or three most impactful defenders in the entire sport and has a great, as good of an argument as anybody that he's the best defensive player in the league. Hey, Lynn, look, he does have a lot of impact, but, but you want defensively to have that impact and then be able to move that impact around wherever you want it to, to, mm. to be, it makes it harder for offensive, Honestly, offenses to deal with. So that the versatility to goes to Micah. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, but versatility with similar production, right. and you'd have to give the edge to, to Micah. We're talking Tom Brady next on First Things First. Honestly, my issue with Miles Garrett, 